Hey people of Antwerp, I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to Five Days of Stranger. Today I'm only doing two videos just because I do have work that I need to worry about. Uh, so, Jim, you ready to go on a stroll? I still have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing, but uh, we'll find out eventually. Jim, you coming? Oh, there you are. Um... I'm still not particularly certain what the game wants me to do. Come on, Jim. You gotta go faster than this, buddy. Dude. You're so slow. Maybe... Wanna get in the car and we'll just leave? There's nothing else in the car. Okay. What about in here? Uh... Hey, Jim. Can't think of what to do. You can't just frickin' oh my gosh, take the saw. I don't know why I took the saw, but I took the saw. Hey Maybe I can saw off the freaking I don't know. Hey! Uh are you going down there, Mr. Chubby? Coming? Uh no, I think I'd rather sit this one out. I'll go do some more research in the library. Well, whatever you want. Okay. Hey! I guess the option of him coming with is just to make it feel better? Or I'm just doing it too early, I don't know. Let's cut down the tree. Maybe that's something. The only thing I can think of for the saw would be to- Oh! Fuck! It's one of those older saws, isn't it? Damn it! Hey, Jim, could you come back here? <laughs> I, I need your help to cut down this stupid tree. Don't know why. It's kind of useless otherwise, so, I mean, why not? It's the only thing I can imagine the saw would be used for. Because, I mean, otherwise it'd probably break. Because the only other thing I can imagine using the saw for would be the, um... <coughs> the chain... The, the manacles, which, again... Try doing that, and, well, you're gonna break it, bruh. Hey, bruh! Let's go wood chopping! Wanna tag along? I swear I won't do anything demonic. I I swear. Sure. Uh huh. Okay. Let's uh let's uh, leave. Come on, Jim. 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 Jim, you're so slow. Come on, Jim. Come on, Jim. I can make it to the next room before you show up. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Come on, Jim! Alright, so... Use the saw on the tree! Jim, give me a hand with this. What did I say? What a hey! Hi. What the fuck did I just do? Why did we cut the tree down, Mr. Chubby? I'm not exactly sure. I'm just bored! So, let's go tree cutting! It's fun as hell! Okay, so that takes care of that. Uh, why did we cut down the tree? Uh, wait, wait. Can I still use the... lock things? Maybe I can unlock some of the doors. Well, I mean, it's not like they're broken or anything, so I probably could, actually. I could unlock the other doors and just see what's inside. Come on, Jim! Come on, Jim! Gotta say it like that now. Come on, Jim! <laughs> oh my gosh, that, that strains my throat after a while. Nope. Right-click, use, lockpicks on this door. I'm gonna unlock every door and just see what I can hunt down. What kind of research can I do? I think I did it, but it still won't open. There must be a deadbolt on the other side of something. Oh! How about this door? There we go. Unlocked. Well, Alright, well, let's go in! Come on, Jim! Is anybody annoyed by that yet? <laughs> What's in here? Ooh, a book! 
nightstand. Empty. Well, that ain't gonna do me any research shit. Empty. Alright, let's open the window. Well, what do you know? It opened. Of course, since it overlooks the backyard, it doesn't help me much. What are you doing, Mr. Chubby? Just popping out for some fresh air. Why don't you wait for me in the library? Wait, what? I just wanna- Huh? I don't think I can reach that. Do I have anything that can? Wait, what about the Grawly? Yeah! The Grawly! Boop! There's nothing in but This. The loose tile, right? Hey! I'm a smarty smart! Hey, I'm inside! Whoa, bear! Hello! And why the hell not? I don't paint. Don't worry, buddy, I don't either. <laughs> What's in the wardrobe? Ooh, a hanger. Can I have the hanger? No? Alright, fine. Nightstand. There's nothing in here but this old diary. Take the diary, you fucker! Empty. Oh, I did take the diary. Alright, Jim! Time to do some research! Can I go through the door now? That's all it was. That's it. Wow. Progress! <clears throat> oh, there you go. <laughs> hey, Jim! Time to do some reading! Look at... Well, let's see. Let's go down. The diary. Diary of Sir Roderick Defoe. <laughs> so, not sure how long. Oh my gosh. The come on, James, are just making me hiccup now. <sighs> so, if you guys do want to skip out on this, I'll have in the description what the time is uh, for when I stop reading this. Because I have no idea how long it's going to take me to read this, but I am going to read it. March 5th, 1805. Work on the house is going well. It should be it should be completed by the end of July. Belinda is already excited about the forthcoming wedding and spends many hours of the day going over even the smallest details over and over again. That makes sense. Not since our early courtship has she been so giddy with joy. It, it softens my heart to see her smile, and she smiles often. I am wondering why I didn't retire sooner. August 12th, 1805. I am only now having the opportunity to write this, as it has been a most hectic day. The wedding went without a hitch, and this house was ready for us to move in as soon as the ceremony was over. That's good. Belinda insisted on cons consummating, I haven't heard that word in a while, our marriage immediately. I am sure, dear diary, this house can expect to hear the laughter of children before 1806 is out. February 14th, 1806. A romantic day for our announcement. The physician has just left, confirming that Belinda is with child. A child was a child we can expect to be born in June. We have already decided to name the child Matthew. If a boy, or Jane, if a girl. I think it ends up being a boy, doesn't it? I don't remember though. June 28th, 1806. Belinda is dead. Whoa! That took a turn of events. I blame Jim. <laughs> Come on, Jim! Belinda is dead. I will never forget her face, Ash Gray. Her face, Ash Gray, contorted with pain. The child is healthy. Would that it had never come about and spared me this fresh hell. May 24th, 1820. Matthew showed me the painting of the grounds he had created. I worry about the boy. 
Why can't he have healthier interests, like soldiering? How's that healthier? I'd love to know. How the fuck is that healthier? The painting was fair, I suppose, but I would rather my child be less of a weakling. June 28, 1821. It is the anniversary of the night I unleashed a horror. A horror which I tonight shall remove from the- Whoa! What? Of all the things to forget, I definitely don't remember this. May God forgive me. That's the last entry. What the fuck? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, there's the other book. Wait, what? Are they both diaries? What the fuck? Look, let's look at the second one. The Secret Diary of Matthew Defoe. Oh! June 28th, 1814. Today is my eighth birthday. Nanny said I would soon be a big, strong man like my father. I wanted to see him today, but he wouldn't come out of his study all day. Nanny says he always gets cross on this day, but it's not because of me. Yeah, well, that'd be a lie. I wouldn't. I found a new friend. He is behind the door in the kitchen, and he doesn't have a name. What? He likes me to sit and talk to him, but Father gets very angry when he finds me doing this. What? I asked Father who the boy behind the door was, but he told me there was no boy behind the door, and it was just a silly fantasy. I don't remember this at all. I showed father the painting I just finished. He said it was quite good, which is the best thing he has ever said. While he was in the good mood, I asked if I could go and look behind the door in the kitchen. He pretended not to hear me. June 28, 1821. My father has done a terrible thing. All this time he pretended there was no boy behind the door, and now this. There is blood all over the kitchen floor. I will do what I can. Then we can be a family together and be happy. That's where it ends. Except for a little ink blot just underneath the, the text. I think I've read enough to have some idea of what's going on here. If there is a ghost in this place, there must be some connection to the disappearance of Sir Roderick and Matthew Defoe. Yeah, probably. Was Matthew schizophrenic? Did Sir Roderick kill him and disappear to avoid the law? It's odd that neither of their bodies were ever found. If I could find Matthew's body, perhaps I can get to the bottom of this. Maybe there's a book or something in the library that could help me. Well, I'm already in the library, so huzzah! <laughs> Come on, Jim! Let's look for this book! Uh, maybe here? Can't, nope. How about these? Nope. These ones? They gotta be somewhere. Guess not. How about these? No. Can't think of what to do. All those books. How about these books? Nope. These ones? No. How about the black ones? No. Nope. These? Nope. These. No. Come on! You gotta be somewhere. Help me, Jim! Alright, let's try doing it this way. 1988 edition of the Encyclopedia. 98 edition of Encyclopedia. A collection of old road maps. Nope. Delia's How to Cook. This shelf is full of nothing but photo albums. Those could be useful. Books on photography containing. or cartooning. And watercoloring. Okay. Complete unabridged Oxford English Dictionary. 
Books on the occult? No doubt interesting bedtime reading. There's a book on simple white magic here. What? Several volumes of something called The Digest of OK. The only one I could imagine. What are these, though? Evidently, someone's been doing a little research here. Gee. So, these, maybe? Why not? I could certainly do with a laugh. Hey! Okay! Uh. Wait, wait, hold on. Actually, no. I can't do it like this. Gotta do it right! Come on, Jim! You gotta come with me, bro! Come on, Jim! That's like the umpteen billion... I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but it's like the umpteen billionth time that a fire truck or an ambulance or something like that has crossed paths. It's ridiculous. Let's go out the door, Jim! And let's go downstairs, Jim! Alright, so... Now's probably the time to actually go in that room that I went in earlier. Last episode. Come on, Jim! In here. So... Uh, sorry, Mr. Chubby, but I don't like the feel of this place. I'll go wait for you in the library. Alright, fine. Come on, Jim! They're quite firmly attached to the wall. Is there anything I can interact with in here at all? No? Um... Maybe... Teddy! You... Maybe I can use the... I don't know! I don't want to use that on myself. How about on the chain? That don't work. I don't know what to do! Maybe I can talk to the ch Talk to the chains! It won't answer- No, that was the joke for the last episode. Alright, let's just go, I guess. So, what the fuck? What am I supposed to do? I don't know! I found out quite a bit, though, so maybe... Huh. The only area I haven't been that I could imagine would have anything to do with anything, because I do recall using this room at some point in the game, would be back here. But I can't think of anywhere else that would... In here. All right, well, bleh. maybe use use the teddy on the f fire. I'm sure, I can think of uses for that other thing. That doesn't work. What the fuck? I don't know what to do. Uh, I'll probably like figure it out over time in like the same. Like, like the pad, like, next time I'll end up doing it right. Like, I had no idea that it was the window. That was just kind of a lucky guess. Like, I got the sun, I was thinking, wait a minute, maybe I can use this here. And it just kind of led to me going, oh, this, 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 and it just kind of ended up. There'd probably be the same pattern. But what the fuck? Alright, well, mm, I don't know. I'll probably just... <sighs> I'll, I'll, I'll do, I'll take one more gamble at what I could possibly do. Uh, here, I'll invite Jim to come with me one more time to this last thing. Hey, Jim! Come on, Jim, come with me! We're gonna go to the bathroom together! That doesn't sound weird at all! I promise not to get in the way. Trust me, Jim, you won't. 
You're more helpful than not. It, no, no, no. Dar. Mm. Dar. My jam. I shouldn't think there's much underneath. Uh, sure. There's gotta be something. Come on, buddy. Get freaking... I don't know. I feel like it's gonna throw something at me. Something you wouldn't expect. The only thing I can't... I can only imagine is, like, something... Oh, no, well, just because they put some random being in the freaking bathtub, I'd imagine there'd be something in here at some point. I don't know. Alright, fine. Fine. Jim, do you have the answer? Come on, Jimmy! Jimmy! Alright, Jim, you can you can go back to the thing. You can go back to doing your thing. What do you think we should do next? I think we should be doing as much research as in that house. Yeah, no sh freaking kidding! Never mind. Okay. Alright, well, Jim, I'm sorry to do this to you, Jim, but I gotta head to an area where you're gonna want to go back to the room. Cause I can't I can't think of any other reason you would help out at all, really. So let's go let you go and then we're gonna end the episode. I suppose. Because I can't think of anything else possible to do shit with right now. I just can't. I can't think of what to do. Uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Goodbye. Anyway, I am gonna leave this episode here. Probably won't be uploaded until, like, way later on today, but eh, whatever. <laughs> In any case, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, Push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. If you got any ideas for any other horror games or pixelated games or just RPGs or whatever whatever you can think of uh, that be nostalgic to you, just let me know in the comments below and I'll consider playing them. In the meantime, I'm out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>